I still turn rocks over, look under logs, and catch lizards and turtles and frogs, and, and that's the best thing I can do with my spare time. So uh, it's, it is possible. Uh, I am Paul Lathers. I'm at the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. I'm also at Pullman National Monument. Very similar parks. Um, not. But, uh, but very connected as far as uh, you know, geography and some themes. So uh, we, we have, you know, Allison talked about you know, the partners. We got the land. We got some of the programs. The Dunes Learning Center is part of Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. Uh, great partnership there with the, them as a nonprofit and us as the owner of the facility. We have great trails, we have great beaches, we have, you know, some of the, I, I invite people to the dunes and say, welcome to one of the most biologically diverse places in North America. Then we happen to have a couple neighbors of steel mills and power plants and a port, and we're within sight of the third largest metropolitan area in the United States. Let's talk about that. You know, it's an interesting place. So, um, the, the dunes, Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, Indiana Dunes National Park, and Pullman National Monument are part of the national park system, 407 nationally and arguably globally significant places that preserve the best stories and best places in America. Just sort of flashing through some pictures of the park. Am I getting, how, how much time am I getting? I have only 10 slides, so I doubled my time. Six minutes. Six, no, but I also got more time. What's up with that? I know, I know. So I was told this format is called, what is this format called? I, I think it's called Machu Picchu. And uh, it's in the context of my, my father, who would have said, this room has good kung fu. So uh, and that's my story. I, I, don't, I don't know what that phrase is. But uh, Anna told me, you should practice. And I said, yeah, I probably won't. But, uh, so you know, you, how many of you have not been to Indiana Dunes National Lake Shore? Great. And shame on you. But uh, we'll see you before the end of the se next warm season. So the Park Service, you know, was involved very deeply with the Einem Canal when it was uh, first started. And, um, and we've sort of drifted back. And my goal, my dream, is to reconnect the National Park Service through Indiana Dunes and Pullman and the Emerging Calumet Heritage Project to um, be a better partner with, uh, with the goal to actually have this season one of our uniformed park rangers come over and work with the Einem the Canal Carter staff, to do some interpretive programming and see how that works, and then sort of def define what this longer-term relationship can be. So we, uh, we, you know, we're all about teaching people how to play outside, in addition to understanding the, the role of um, the natural and cultural resources of the dunes into everyday life. And so a couple of things that we do, you know, the Lake Michigan Water Trail, kind of a cool concept. We're working on a water trail on the east branch of the Little Calumet River. We're working on a, a water trail on the Kankakee River. We have a program called the Urban Wilderness Canoe Adventure that I worked on in the Twin Cities in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And in six years, we've had 75,000 kids out on a half-day canoe trip. Transformational experience for city kids in the outdoors uh, to get them started on that continuum like I got started. Talk a little bit about Pullman. Very cool. Three weeks ago tomorrow, president and a bunch of other important people show up, declare this a national monument. Uh, we have a great visitor center in partnership with the Historic Pullman Foundation, right below the Historic Hotel Florence. I can go over there today between uh, 11 and 3 and talk to a park ranger and some other folks and see some great artifacts. And we're in the, in the very initial phases of planning this newest national park. So uh, hopefully you get your passport stamped there. And then envision the connection between the two national parks in this region, the INM Canal, uh, the Calumet Heritage Region. You know, the lines are very blurry. These places all connect thematically, have very distinctive uh, regional and local stories, but they are part of something bigger. And our job is to, to cut through the craziness of the Indiana and, and Illinois state line and make this stuff happen. So, uh, yeah, and Anna and I, we, we've known each other for 18 years, and I, I tell folks we met when we were four years old. Uh, <laughs> And it's been fun to uh, watch the evolution of national heritage areas from afar. I was a lot involved with, someone mentioned earlier, the uh, Ohio and Erie Canal. I worked on that national heritage area when I worked at Cuyahoga Valley National Park. And um, learned a lot about canals as a forester and a wildlife biologist. I didn't know anything about canals, didn't know anything about cultural resources. Used to think that Greek revival was a religious thing. <laughs> and it turns out it is. So... Uh, you know, I'm having a lot of fun as a National Park Service superintendent 
learning some new geography, meeting some great partners, seeing some great places, and really, you know, when you think about the national park system, not a lot of people say, as they're closing out their school year or looking at their vacation, I want to go to Ohio or Indiana or Illinois. They just don't say that. And why they don't say that, I'm not sure, because there's some fabulous places. We have a couple big anniversaries coming up. The, cent the centennial of the National Park Service in 2016, the 50th anniversary of the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. We're going to be in a lot of cake in Indiana in 2016. The state's bicentennial, the state park centennial, lots going on in 2016. My 57th birthday, come on. <laughs> so uh, go to the Art Park website. I got a couple park brochures over there. We're easy to find to find out about how our anniversary stuff is evolving. But um, I think the, my goal for the 2016 anniversaries is not just to celebrate 100 years of the Park Service and 50 years of the dunes, but let's, what are we doing to connect the i &M Canal, the Calumet Heritage Region, Pullman National Monument, Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore? And so this is a sincere offer. Call me up, make an appointment, come on over, sit down, we'll have coffee, we'll go take a hike, we'll talk about whatever. A few folks once in a while take me up on this. I will tell you, I hate sitting in my office. So we have a place at the uh, Douglas Center. It's called the, uh, what's called the Nature, by, by Nature's Backyard, where on national park land, you can climb trees, you can turn rocks over, turn logs over, you can dig a hole in the sand. You know, we usually write tickets for stuff like that. <laughs> um, you know, if it's fun, you're probably violating one of our rules. So uh, we're, we're trying to, I, I told my rangers this year, I'll give you your microphone back in just eight minutes. That um, I expect you all to be sunburned, tick bitten, muddy, sandy, filthy, dirty every day you come to work. And that's not usual. Thank you.